There is a change happening right now in manufacturing, one that we all need to pay attention to. Many machine shops have some legacy machines that are doing good work, and many machine shops are investing in the newest and greatest technology. Here at Votal in Southern California, they have both. And we're gonna go through that journey with you today to find out what's being done on those legacy machines, but what's something like this tree mill behind me right now, how it can help you reduce cycle times by 50%, just like they are here at Votar. Not too long ago, I spent time at the American Precision Museum. Yes, the original Silicon Valley. And I learned there that precision has been happening for hundreds of years hundreds of years. Today I'm at Votal and we were just talking about the evolution and adaptation of technology. The machine I'm standing on obviously is massive. They've even Frankenstein the spindle a little bit to give it a more torque and rigidity to make sure they can get through the parts quicker. But let me tell you a quick story. The young man who runs this machine is about to retire. He just put 80 holes in a part with a plus or minus of 10, but he was able to do 80 holes with one thou difference. When QC called, they said, who did this? When they said they did it on this machine and this is manually done where the man winds it up. It was incredible to even think that that could be done at such high precision on a machine. And actually this machine is gonna leave this facility when this man retires, which is gonna be in the next couple of years. Why is that so important? Well, we know precision exists. We know it can be done in this way, but when you adapt to the newer technology, as we step right back over to that tree mill, what changes? Cycle times change, tool life changes. The overall success of getting a part done, completed on the first go instead of second and third operations, there's so many bits and pieces that go into investing in the right technology. And if you're still thinking about, I'm saving up front, where you're losing on the back end. And that's why we step up to that technology. Let's head back over to the tree mill and talk with Art and see what they've been able to do here at Votal to up their game in a massive aerospace and defense world. Art, thank you so much for jumping on camera with me. I, sure. I've, I've actually jumped from the front of the machine to one of your older machines, talked about the legacy that's over there, the gentleman exactly. that's been with you for so long, but it's really important to iterate, not just reiterate, but iterate exactly. what happens when we invest in the newest machines, when it comes to quality of parts, when it comes to time savings, when it mm -hmm. comes to secondary operations. When you invested in this tree mill, you probably had some expectations of what you hoped it would do. Exactly. But what has it actually produced for you? Well, in the uh, in the short version, it's cut our time almost in half. Um, like I said before, the the backlog on, on other our program managers, some of their jobs, they want to place them on this machine here. So, based on the fact that it not only cuts time in half, the quality of the part, uh, with the technology of this machine, uh, programs has the freedom to do a lot of things here that we couldn't do normal on other machines. We're able to really do some high quality parts. Um, everything from titanium, stainless steel, and aluminum. So it's it handles it all. So this thing has been the word go from day one. It's been producing and uh, it was really an eye opener. Uh, we stepped into a zone that we really didn't, the market in the United States isn't very high, but I was talked to by you know, the folks here that represented the uh, the machine and, and, and they threw some guarantees on us that this thing is as, as tight as it's as, as, as advertised. So, uh, so yeah, in the long run, this machine, and this is what opened up the door for future machines, possibly a larger one. Uh, the uh, So everybody from the floor up has seen the results and this is basically what you get when you pay you pay for a good quality machine. So it sounds like it almost exceeded your expectations because your expectations were already high, but it sounds like it did. So much yes. good happened. Part of our business studies on this was to is going to save thirty percent. We're more in the neighborhood of fifty percent. So oh. this is a again, this is what sold the machines and for future machines. All right, something, a couple things actually mm -hmm. that you mentioned that stood out to me that I just have to ask a little bit more details about. One thing. 
in my head, I heard you say from the word go, we were ready. But I almost heard you say goat, as in the greatest of all time, right? But a, yeah, it, it could go. be that too. I know you meant go, uh, yeah. and I know you said go. Yeah. But something, something really important that popped out to me was you mentioned that everyone wants to get their parts on this machine. Can we do it? It's almost become your hot job machine where you can do things it quicker has. and make a, a bit more money as well. Uh, obviously, or at it's, least uh, keep your customers happy at the same time who have shorter lead times. Yes, it, it works in hand in hand. So, so the only thing restricts us from putting ever, a lot more parts is the size, and that's why we want to go to the bigger one. But yes, the the reports and the and, and the, the, the the results have been there. So uh, the quality of it um, and the timeline. This just just there's just no uh, this is this is the number one machine. Uh, yeah, in our in, our, uh, in this size of machine work that we do, so it's perfect. The other thing that I want to bring up, and you've said it several times, mm -hmm. quality. You said quality. You must have said it three, four, five times exactly. at this point. I've been into your CMM room. That room, the entire room is like a CMM. You got such a large yeah, one yeah, in there. Yeah. But what's important to understand is when you say quality over and over again, you're not measuring meticulously every single part and area because you know it's coming off good. So you're actually saving time there as well. No, it is. It, it took, um, and then in our quality, they're very, you know, very, uh, um, you know, checking it, checking the box at every point. Um, we've gotten to the point where we have the number of parts, repeated jobs that first article were where we needed to be. The t second one we inspected on the machine or with our lasers on the machine and again results were good so this led to us to having uh, the confidence of having a uh, uh, operator buy-off machine buy-off uh, and the repeatability that this machine re uh, produces has reduced our quality time i have a question for you art we're standing in front of a big machine mm -hmm. if i look around that's all i really see is big machines around yeah. here and big parts how expensive is it when you scrap something from a lack of quality? Oh, the labor is not always the biggest thing. Sometimes it's material. Yes. Uh, as you might uh, maybe you've seen throughout the shop, we have some very, very expensive material. Uh, not only the, the cost of the material, but the fact that it's uh, long lead. So if something happens that it's deemed scrapped, which we hope it never really happens, but when it does, it's, it is a major impact in our, in our, our pocket. So the fact is that we meticulously go through every program, operations, the tooling, and a machine like this can produce, it really, really puts us a little bit at ease at night when we go to bed. So yeah, we wanna make sure we, we, um, we um, give the right tools needed to, to compete with the market. This is one of them. So um, in order to keep on capturing work, a machine that needs to do the quality work. And you're getting a restful night's sleep. I know you've been uh, yes. doing this for a long time. It's good yes. to be sleeping well. No, yes, exactly. <laughs> so we, we have a lot of expensive parts. This one might be the winner, but we have, throughout the shop, we have titanium that can be very, very thick slabs of titanium that's very expensive. So, um, so as you can imagine, it, all we need is a hiccup. So it's more of the labor, uh, not necessarily totally the labor, it's more of the material. Material, and yeah. then their reputation with our customer, we're going to be late. So. So we look at it that way more than anything else. Uh, material, labor, you know, uh, disappointment. And, um, and the fact is that we, we, we'll make it in a heartbeat if they, we can get back to time. So, um, so that, that is basically um, what, what saves us here is that we're able to trust this machine to repeat. Yeah, great point. The last question I wanna bring up is about tooling itself. Now, mm -hmm. I don't know if you look at the numbers of your overhead for tooling costs, mm -hmm. but I can imagine it can be up there. It's oh, a consumable, yes. right? We, it is. we break them, we overuse them, we underuse them and rub them. Now, I can imagine that that overall overhead may go down if we're using half the amount of tools required because exactly. the rigidity is there, because the balance is there, because the precision is there. We're even saving money on the tooling side of things as well, aren't we? Yeah, it, 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 it really, when you got a nice rigid machine running true and able to run the uh, the RPMs that we, we need to in order to meet the time, the, the cutting rate is, is great. You know, the, the tool life is, is, is designed to cut at a certain speed and feeds and whatnot, but the rigidity needs to be there. So not only the tooling savings, but it also saves in, uh, in us to do any hand polishing, any, uh, any of that blending we need to do when we have step overs. This machine will cut, when it cuts, it cuts clean. So it reduces not only the, the tooling, but also in the deburring. Yeah, I have heard something 
that I'm gonna try my best to remember. And maybe mm -hmm. you heard this as well when you invested in the machine. And that's how the machine itself, its body is constructed for the vibration dampening. Yes. They actually had a little test for me to, to ping a piece of metal mm -hmm. and then ping another piece of oh, material. Exactly, yeah. And, and, and the, the third one had zero vibration. It was zero because yeah. of the vibration dampening. Have you seen the results in that when you're making your parts and making those heavy oh, cuts yes. as well? Oh, yeah. yes, yeah. And that was one of the things they did, uh, I did see. You the, did get the demo. to do that oh, too? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it, you can hear it just deaden on the on the final results of what we have here. Uh, some concrete bedding, you know, uh, basically with some kind of fibers and products that go in there to make it even even more uh, a dampener. So yeah, that that I did see that, and this in, in, in itself helps it quite a bit. The last thing I want to bring up for the audience who's mm -hmm. watching right now and Mike doesn't know you as well as I do today. The importance of your quality is second to none. You've been doing mm -hmm. this since 1963. Yes. And you have won not just one, but two Silver Snoopy Awards. Yes. Now, would you mind describing the importance of what that award means to the company? But for anyone who doesn't understand how significant yeah. that award is, because it really brings everything full circle to go, that's why we invest in right. this. That's why we invest in people. That's why we continue to improve since 1963. Right. What is that Silver Snoopy Award? Oh, it's big because it's one of the highest, highest uh, awards given by uh, NASA themselves. And, uh, and it's actually presented by an astronaut and who relies on their life or our product for their life. Uh, everything has to be made perfect. Everything has to work. Everything has to meet the tolerance and the design work. So that recognition of product that we've made, product that we helped design some of the work, um, and that's where that comes in. And this silver Snoopy is not just given out every every year or so. It's it's basically you have to be uh, that high end quality, uh, high end results in the product that you put out to these folks. So yes, it's flight hardware is a different animal altogether. It requires quite a bit more uh, uh, tolerance work, more inspection time on, on, on the customer side. Everything has to be perfect. So, and again, this is where this some machine like this. Um, we can we can we can assure that it will get you know exactly what they're looking for. Well, Art, you, yep. my friend, are my hero. I appreciate right. you today. Thank you for everyone who's watching this right now. We're not just going to leave you hanging on some of the <laughs> what what Art and I described just now. We're going to bring you a factory tour as well. So yep. if you have not seen that yet, stay tuned. Change the channel. Another YouTube video. Go check out the factory tour here at Votar with Art and I. We have so much to show you. Thank you all for watching. Time is the one thing we cannot manufacture more of. And if you shared it with us today, we certainly do appreciate you.